Max Inc. Radio, radio for the people. Uh, Magic 7 there, the tune is called Cheetah. Name the CD is called 711. Magic 7 in 2011. You get it? I get it. Awesome. <laughs> Magic 7 is in the studio right now. We have Darren. What's up, Darren? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. I don't. I had a long day of work the last couple of days, but I get, uh, get to sleep in tomorrow, so I feel really good. Awesome, nice. man. You do the uh, bass. Yes. The bass in Magic 7. Yes. Yep. And uh, we also have Mike in the Bastard. And what's up, Mike? How you doing, man? What's going on? Mike man? likes to hit things with sticks. Yes. Unlike Darren, I drank a lot of cough syrup before I got here. So, uh, <laughs> Grandpa's cough syrup. Uh, NyQuil, <laughs> Robitussin? <laughs> a little bit of, of both. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything. It's a cocktail. Yeah, it's right. You look like the green, green machine type of guy. Like the, the, the green <laughs> stuff, you know? Well, yeah. Fuck I the can, cherry. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh-huh. You got it. You got it. Excellent. Well, welcome to the Bastard End, guys. Really appreciate you coming by. Uh, you know, it's it's a unique perspective of Magic 7 having you two because, you know, mostly we we're talking off air that yeah. Butto and, and Paul kind of do the interviews, but... They've been our uh, Paul, default Paul, spokesman just because they're most involved and they got the longest history of the, of, uh, the four of us. Right. So... But uh, Paul said, why don't you guys, why don't you guys try, you know, why don't you give it a shot for once and see it and see yeah, well, we we, one we thought it would be interesting to kind of dive in and kind of get a yeah. little perspective from your guys' angles here. So, Darren, we'll start with you. You know, sure. you, you you toured in 04 over in Europe with last. Five, I think. Was it 04, 05? Six, actually. Okay. I'm I getting. When I was 35, I can't but see. No, oh, you're right then, 04. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, research <laughs> department. Wow. So, <laughs> tell, tell us about that tour and how that kind of, you know, looking back. Uh, today, looking back at it, how it kind of fits it, in with today. It fell in my lap, literally, just with like about two weeks before they were scheduled to leave. It was a, just about every original member of uh, Last Crack was invited to. Uh, well, the, the band was invited to uh, do uh, a Prague metal festival in Amstelveen in the Netherlands, which is by Amsterdam, and uh, and that includes uh, Todd Winger who was on base with Last Crack and he had to uh, he had for personal reasons had to had to leave he, he couldn't do the trip so you know obviously being in Magic 7 and Muzzy Luckton for years at that point working with Paul and I knew all those guys for, you know, well enough they said you want to you want to give it a shot it's like well yeah I said <laughs> why not all I had to do was just get my passport and I had to do, I had to get down to Chicago and get my passport in person because that's how little time I didn't have time to even expedite it, which takes like still ten days to get it, I think, right, or something right. like that. Um, but uh, we did that, and then uh, we also got invited to go to uh, Reykjavik, Iceland, on the way to and, and the way to the Netherlands. So um, it just it was we, just a blast. So yeah. <laughs> it's a time. And, of and life. we've seen some pictures, yeah, from, from some of that, and it's uh, it, it's it looks like it was. Kind of an amazing journey for you guys. It was. It was. Um, I'd never been to Europe before. I'd never been out of the country at all. So uh, I just, all I know is I want to go back <laughs> sometime in my life. Right. So um, it, was, it was great. And we had a good show. And uh, it, it was, I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Darren, you and I were talking uh, after the uh, Halloween spectacular about the, the, the storied and almost uh, incestuous nature of, oh. of the whole. I, I just base it around last crack that, right. that whole family and that that tree. It, it definitely branches off to many different. Uh, but it also it comes back, yeah. you know, at lots of different points. Um, and, and certainly, uh, you know, the members of, of Magic Seven are, are no no exception to that. Um, explain what that's like being being part of this really just massive family of of musicians. Well, I was just a big. A fan when it when it kind of started. I mean, um, I remember the first time I saw Last Crack. It was at uh, the the now long gone, unfortunately, OK's Corral back going off of um, Wilson. Is that uh, more by the Essen House over there? And uh, I just I'd never seen a band that that I never heard of, that I never even heard, that I never heard or heard of or anything. I'd never ever seen a band that just blew me away the first time, the, the second you see them. You know, the first time they hit their first note. And I was a big fan ever, you know, all the way up till they initially decided to disband in 1991. And uh, when I got, in, you know, when I got uh, the opportunity to join Magic Seven, I felt like I was gonna, like, well, that was just my ticket was punched basically, just right. to, you know, to be able to to join with those guys. Uh, it it was like just 
it's like okay that i finally found a reason to to keep playing you know yeah because <laughs> i didn't know if i wanted to keep playing actually right. so it's like this is why this is why i wanted to want to play music to do something like this work with work with guys like these yeah so uh mike uh now you play drums for magic seven from the beginning and then uh for the for the first go around and mm-hmm. and now that the line is back to the same where with you know butto Sluter, darren and yourself uh you know, I'll play and putting out the new EP or the new CD, uh, Seven Eleven. How is this version of Magic Seven different from maybe when you first started with Magic Seven? Uh, you know, I think, or, it's, or is there a difference? Well, yeah, there is, there is, and and I think really what it is 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 probably maturity. I mean, I'm not saying that we were all like you know greenhorns in the first time around, but um, we all did a lot of growing up, you know, and and. Uh, of course, like, you know, with me and Darren Paul being in Muzzy Luckton right after Magic 7, um, maybe didn't see that as much because it was a thing that you would see all the time daily. Um, where I really noticed it is with when when Buttle came back. And, it, you know, and I, you know, we had seen each other, obviously, through the years. Um, but to get back into a, a, a band setting or working relationship with, with Butto, um, with a, with us all together again, and you know, just shooting out of the gate, starting to write. Um, it really hit me like you know, it's like an old pair of shoes, but at the same time, it was like it was different. Just the way the dynamics, the way that we work together, um, the way that the writing process goes. Um, you know, same intensity, but just a little bit more relaxed, I guess, is is the best way of putting it. I so it, I think it took a little time to get there. It seemed to be we didn't quite know what kind of how we we're going to approach our writing. But uh, when we really started working hard on just really started things started coming together, they seemed to come together more frequently easier so it was uh it was a little challenging at first but we got a lot of great stuff I and mean, not just the five that we got on the cd we got a lot of like like already a decent uh amount of uh, material to work with so mm-hmm. so we're yeah. really excited about the next stuff we're gonna do when when you say that that things seem to come together more often was it was it a matter of uh of you guys maybe just being a little bit more i, I don't know how, how else to put this i i always imagine musicians especially in the in the you know, after after a, a significant amount of success, but maybe not. You know, you've just nailed it, and made it big time. But that you know, you you get. I got to think you get quite an ego from something like that. You know, you're 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 being you're being put on a pedestal on a regular basis in front of lots of people who are you know. Am I am I wrong? Well, you know, honestly, I I don't know. I just I kind of like just it's so simple for me. You know, I mean, I, I really just love to to create music. And and feel like I mean obviously you know we've stood the test of time I mean we're clearly we're, we're brothers and we work great together and and my main thing is and what I always focus on I think all of us really is that we just want to write good music you know um, what we want to do and and hopefully other people will like it you know well, I guess so, what I'm getting at really and maybe this I should stop trying to figure it out and just let you guys answer why do you think that it comes together more frequently now than it used to. Well, I don't know if frequently is the best way to put it. It started coming easier. It took a little time. There was some trepidation at the at the at the start when we got back together a year ago in June, and we trying to and uh, trying to put things together, and it was just a little tough. And then next thing, you know, it started feeling more natural. Just like you need, we needed a little time to get to get our feet wet, and then things started coming together. Uh, why that is, I don't know. Just a sense of we just start. Sense of familiar, that little familiarity starts to build up, and well, and and you really you're like, okay, what the hell are we gonna do? You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> so it, it, sort of yeah, I mean, you, you you get together, and I mean, and and the you know when we kind of put it all together, like yeah, let's let's do this, let's let's in, you know try and make something happen here, you know, right. um, you know, music for us. I mean, I wish it wasn't this way, but it's such a feely kind of emotional thing where you can't just like you know flip a switch and go all right you know we're writing great stuff right um i i think a lot of what we did in magic seven earlier you know was was great stuff but i don't think any of us wanted to be exactly what we were at that point you know we wanted to be able to grow um and and we all knew that we did but you know it's like where, where do you start 
you know. Yeah. Right. Um, so I think like what Darren was saying is, yeah, you know, you kind of start a little slow because you're trying to almost force something. Yeah. You know, let's go. Let's go. We're going to be heavy. We're going to be whatever the case may be. Um, and for us, it just doesn't work that way. It's like when you when you, you step back and go, okay, um, we're just going to do what we like to do and whatever comes out comes out. You know, um, and I think that's how we we work. So uh, initially, getting over that that hump of you know <laughs> where, where where is this going? Yeah. Once we kind of determine like it can go wherever it wants, you know, and w- and we're going to go along. I think it just kind of paved the way, and and uh, yeah, I mean, we started writing like crazy. So that's awesome, man. Magic yeah. Seven and the Bastard in here on Max Inc. Radio. If you have got a question for Mag- Magic Seven, you can uh, jump in right now. 414-455-4 Den. That's 455-4336. Magic 7 just recently completed a new CD, 7-Eleven. It's awesome. Thank you very much. And uh, plus, you guys had the CD release party a couple weeks ago at the Frequency. How did that go? Very good. Time, very good. Very good. A lot of fun. Show. Lots of old friends came out. That's always nice to see old friends. When I get some new people in there, though, they got to come out and check it out, see what, see what they haven't seen, especially like... Uh, Say ones that are just turning twenty one, becoming a bar age. You know, if you you like rock music, I mean, we're a little bit older, but right. still kick it. We still bring it, you know, and we still love we're not doing scary it. So, old guys, yeah, I'm a little scary. <laughs> Don't have the Gerald tell yet. Mike, what was it like getting back in the studio with Butto and everybody? Then the whole band. I mean, what was it like uh, it was, getting, getting in? I mean, what you you were just talking about the writing of the music and how all that all that revolved, but getting the guts as far as recording the music itself. You you know what you had. You had your target. You had the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it was it was great. You know, um, I think we were familiar with being in the studio a lot, um, so there wasn't that, that, you know, that that fear of oh my god, you know, we're going in the studio. But um, just the thought of you know getting back together with these guys and really wanting to do. Um, a great job for them, you know. I mean, I have so much respect for for all these guys that, um, you know, I, I really wanted to to make this as good as I possibly could, you know, um, for these guys. Um, and and I and and really, you know, it, it was comfy right off the bat. So um, I mean, it it really didn't take a lot of time, um, and uh, it was just really a, a fun experience. So I mean, all in all. Uh, yeah, excitement. And still t- now, you know, because after a while, you know, you're just like, mm, you know, now what do we do? There's none of that. It's just like on with the next, on yeah. with the next, you know. So What's the and, next tune going to be? And and Darren, what is what is the what are the tunes? I mean, what 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 is it that you guys are going after in 7-Eleven here? Uh especially, you I know, think there's, I don't think there's a set uh, well, uh, let me let me narrow let me narrow. I I played cheat uh yeah. I, I played cheat well, That's one of awesome our more, song. That's probably our most Unique tunes of tunes that are, I'd say we got about 12 or 13, including the five here that are, that feel like I have like their set identities, you mm-hmm. know, not necessarily finished, but you know what they're going for. That's one that's definitely, it's probably, it's, I think it's more, most left field out of all of them, I think. I like to, and I like to kind of want, find ones that kind of, ones that sound like this and this, you know. Right. Um, I don't think, I just, I think that we, whatever, what Mike said before is like, whatever happens, you know, comes out, comes out, you know, it's just like, I want, you know, we want to do like all sorts of different styles and stuff here. So, as yet still retain our, as a core identity of who Certainly we are, no, you know? no common theme. Right. It was just. Right. Well, know. one, one song I'm going to play, uh, as soon as we're done, done talking here is, uh, Mendota. Yeah. Tell us about that too, man. Well, uh, that's, uh, one that. A lot of our tunes really always start with Paul coming up with a riff, and he comes up he comes up with a with a riff probably every day. Really, he does. Comes up with a, a really good idea for a song. That one just came. Uh, I don't know how, how know how that one kind of came about, but it uh, wrote it itself. It, it really yeah, did. I mean, you know, yeah. it's like on cruise control, man. right? Yeah. yeah, it was like ten minutes. Wow, hey, yeah. cool. You know. It was Those are uh, good ones. It was really cool, but he really added a lot, really great stuff in the studio, like overdubbing some guitar stuff that really elevated it for me. So that's that's definitely a one I like a lot. Um, as far as like what it's about, you'd have to ask Butto. <laughs> let's yeah, call him up yeah, right now. Right. Let's, get a, let's get Butto on the phone right now. Uh, He's unavailable. Yeah. 
All right, so what's on the calendar for uh, Magic 7? I, I, I know there's a show coming up at the end of yes. November I'm looking forward to. Yes, Black Friday, day after Thanksgiving, uh, the 25th of November. That's at the Annex. They are reopening. I'm not sure if it's open yet. I think it's but called the Regent Street Retreat now. It's not the Annex? Though? No. Oh, I've gotten dude. rid of that part. That is but... so like Well, everyone knows ago. what the Annex is. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually very exciting to me because that yeah. was, you know, that was our old stomping yeah. grounds. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice was. Venue. It's mm-hmm. a, a great place. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a best great PA and just a great vibe. Um, I just remember some. I mean, I have really great memories of playing some shows there. You know, so the, I was sad to hear that it left, but you know, the place. Yeah, really it's it's like what a waste. It. You know, come on, it's like that's one of the best places to play in town. It's like somebody take care of this. Somebody do something with yeah. it. So nice to hear that's coming back, and we're going to be one of the one of the first uh, bands to play. I'm not sure when the the actual grand opening reopening is, but we're going to be playing there on Friday, November 25th. And uh, let's see. I think we're are we doing the twenty third at the oh, high right. noon of December. That's right. With nice Faces show. for Radio. Oh, you guys yes. play? I was oh, planning on going really? to that show. Actually. Yeah. There yeah. you go. Nice. There you go. Yeah. No, you have even twice. more reason to come. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and a tentative show in January, but I'm not sure if that's set in stone yet. Are you? I believe so. Yeah. Okay, so that'll be mm-hmm. January twenty first at the Badger Bowl. Mm-hmm. There you go. The mighty Badger Bowl. Yes. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, if we wanted to get information about Magic Seven, buy your CD. Mm-hmm. Uh, find out uh, where we're playing and everywhere else, everything else. The the, the latest the latest gossip on Magic Magic Seven. <laughs> well, there's Facebook. We got uh, Magic Seven has its own Facebook page, and I think uh, let's see, the website Magic Seven Music dot com. I believe. Correct. Yes, Magic Seven Music dot com. That's awesome, Darren. Mike, thanks for coming to the Bastard Den today. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for having Thank us. You.